Hello and uh, welcome um, to Channel UTM. Uh, this is a tutorial based research channel. So I will be showing you the research in hand, the results, um, stuff that I do. Uh, a lot of it's in tutorials, but um, we'll be doing it as we go along. Okay, right. Today we're going to be looking at um, Ceres. Um, it's I thought it was a moon off, but it's a it's a dwarf planet. Um, it is, where is my, I've got some notes here, 940 kilometers, 580 miles wide, so it's a little one, um, and it floats around in an asteroid belt in between Mars and Jupiter, apparently, so, uh, pretty cool. I only just recently found this image, I'm not sure what it's like for working on, um, I will have a look. Um, but just to show you what it looks like, um, there are dozens of image on Ceres. I, I probably downloaded uh, a dozen and randomly chose, well, sort of randomly chose um, three of them. But I'm one of them I chose, I was very glad because um, it made me realize something in um, about we did um, I did recently did Jupiter and I was talking about the the makeup of the images you know how they're how they're put together how they're pre-edited um, how things are hidden etc and there's something I completely overlooked and in one of the images I'm going to show you, um, it dawned on me to go and have another look at this image. And it it's mental. So I'm going to try and do that this evening um, and show you. I mean, it, in plain sight, literally, it, it's incredible. So um, fingers crossed for that one. Um, hopefully tonight. So anyway, let's get let's get on with this one. Here's the logo. I like showing those. That's crap though. Um, not one of my favourites. So first of all, we are going to be looking at this image. Um, not particularly large. Um, and uh, okay, well let's let's just have a look. This is the actual image itself. Um, it is actually smaller than this, but I think I think it's the software that it stores it larger or something. I'm not entirely sure. If you do know why they come in larger, then um, give it a shout, or it's me just being stupid. So, um, I like looking at the makeup of things, and uh, you can see the pixelation here. But um, there's also that strip element. Um, if you watched the um, Pluto one, I think it was, and also maybe low as well. Um, it's how how the image is, is is put together. I don't know if they're if they're doing it. Obviously. Remember, I was talking about it being slightly offset and stuff. Um, but I'll get I'll get to that because it's very very relevant. Um, actually shocked me. I mean this is this is crazy. We we're, we're like I, like I was saying with it, experimenting with images and I'm just trying to work out how they do this stuff. Um, blew my socks off actually. Um, but okay, right, so this is the image I was work on. The saturation has been pulled, there's been some contrast, and I've done the uh, uh, preliminary work with the uh, dodge and burn tools um, prior to doing any work on it. 
so but i'm going to show you a black and white version of this because it's very difficult what i also did as well um i where are we filters um and the gaussian blur is only about 0 0.30 or something just to take the sharpness off the uh the pixels so let's have a look around and like i always say um pause and uh, you know try and take the image in because we we we're dealing with very poor quality images and we're just not used to people are not used to uh looking at blurred stuff and um distorted uh images so it takes a while to get used to it um you know it's all also a case of um you know if you start going bog eyed um just leave it and then come back to it and uh give it another go um and take in all the elements which uh you know the curvature especially on these these images the curvature of the image uh um so the perspective you're going to get on things uh, you're going to see the tops and sides and, and things like that so bear that in mind so i haven't worked out the title of this video yet but i think it's going to be something uh something skyline it's like an industrial skyline so let's let's go and have a look at that anyway um you can see the bitting of uh, of this. Um, I'm not entirely sure how much of that is because of the poor quality of the image or uh, what these um, formation structures are, how they're built. So I'll be doing some zooming in and zooming out and I do apologize about the jerkiness because um, I haven't got a smooth zoom on this yet. I've still got to find out. Um, lots to find out. Okay. So you can clearly see here there's um, a, a layout structure of sorts. So remember we have a curvature. There is a curvature on this. So, um, and people do talk about terraced um, structures, uh, buildings, like you get over, like you get here terraced um, housing and stuff um, and if you looked at the terrace housing from the top it would look like you know straight lines you know with a high point for the roof and then you get the, the terrace element it's going to be darker and lighter darker lighter and so on and so forth I was going to illustrate this on a um, do a little bit of drawing for you but I'm, I'm sure you understand here for example. And I do go on about how how to view these these images. So we need to learn about, you know, from what's good to do is is look at um go to the ESA European Space Agency site and they have um, tons and tons of uh, uh, satellite images um, of Earth. Um, they have a lot of space stuff as well. And uh, check them out. So you you can relate. You can relate this stuff. Sorry if I sound a bit confused because I've got I I got a bit excited with the uh, 
the Pluto discovery, which is uh, which is insane. Um, I'll talk about that more when we look at uh, another image up here. This one. So this was a very poor image. Let's just see what my my pen is saying on this. A little bit strong. Um, I have said to one of the, um, it was next in hand anyway, but one of the, one of uh, my subscribers who is uh, doing this, I know someone else is, I think there's a few people doing it, as far as I know. Um, How to uh, how to use the dodge and burn tools um, from especially when it, things are completely dark or completely light or very blurred. <clears throat> so um, I'll try and do that tomorrow. Still pretty, pretty strong. But you can copy these these settings. Um, the even even when you experiment with these, I mean, when you when you pop this stuff around, um, it makes especially on this setting. If you know, if I pull the weight up, you don't you don't tend to really notice notice the difference. But you want it on as a uh, a mellow a mellow setting I mean this is me I mean you might you might like you know to pull things a lot a lot quicker but I like to see what's going on you know, if, you, if, if you do things too strongly then you may miss details um, so So yeah, remember this this place is pretty pretty small. But it's a it's a recurring thing that the if you put these things into uh, proportion, they are massive. This is clearly a um, structures. I'll show you in uh, the black and white one. In a, in a minute.
So if you are looking at this for the first time, um, I'm not drawing. The uh, There are some explanations in some of the, the earlier bits. Um, you know, the goal is, is to get people to to have a go at this. I mean, to do it yourself is uh, is the way. There's no, you know, the confirmation is uh, sound, and then uh, <clears throat> then the questions really start. So this this tool literally darkens and lightens the pixels on the the image you're you're working on. You can see the sort of lines and stuff running through here. Um, they seem to shoot off this way though. That's fine. That I think this image is slightly distorted. Um, well, not slightly, but. So what I generally do is um, it depends really because I'm used to looking at uh, looking at this stuff now, but it's a case of pulling in and pulling out, so you can start seeing stuff forming, or uh, you'll only see it from a certain distance. That makes sense. I've, I've, I've spoken about it um, before, but it's the I, I think I mentioned it on the, the last one I did as well. And it's a case of uh, which uh, I had a comment, basically saying you're retraining, retraining your brain in all manners. You know, this this uh, subject matter has just been made into fantasy, sci-fi, movies, you know, what if. Um, But if you have been looking at my stuff, well, you do follow follow anyone else. I mean, that's uh, that's how I started. Um, curiosity more than anything, and it's when I saw something which I could really not uh, get my head around. I tried it myself. And it's not complicated. I mean, th th this all looks like a, a, a bit um, daunting, but it's not. The tools we use for this research are basic um, and very minimal. So it's not difficult, and people are starting to uh, to do it, which is which is brilliant. Never thought that would happen. So I don't know. I don't know how many um, places we've uh, visited so far, but um, what 
what I'm going to be doing because I have got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of images and they're all revealing. I'm going to work my way through the uh, recorded celestial bodies of our solar system, shall we say. And then I will start concentrating on all the other images and uh, because there's only there's only so many places obviously to look at but there are hundreds and hundreds thousands of images you can get hold of um, and uh, that that's when they that's when it's gonna that's when it's gonna get good I think well, this stuff is insane anyway. I can't, I can't believe it. Even now, doing it. So there's something that popped out. Even in, uh, let's have a look. This image was obviously all this here. Um, and that there. a good level so you can see that now so here it is enhanced a little Like I said before, the reason for showing these uh, low quality images is because you can get information out of them. And the more you get used to looking at these images, the easier it will become on the better images. Um, I was looking for, uh, which someone suggested, having a look at um, from one of the Laroque sites was a, a moon image and uh, I couldn't find it. You need to get back in touch with me, Lunatech. Um, but I found an image that looks sort of similar to what he's describing but the title is completely different and uh, I had a look at that and that's something I'll be doing, I like those, so we can concentrate on one image and stuff, but that was of the moon, and uh, they're good images as well, um, good quality, and uh, yeah, there was, there was, it was, it's like an in, uh, impact crater with the ejector all over the place, um, and uh, yeah, buildings everywhere. I found lots of other stuff as well. There's things that you forget that exist as well. So there's going to be um, asteroids coming up. All sorts of stuff. Mad stuff. But I think I'll keep with the... Yeah. We'd definitely be... Uh, Treading on toes with some of the stuff I've got. But we're all crazy mad space cadets anyway, so it doesn't matter, does it? So I hope you're getting, uh, sorry for chundering on. Keep 
thinking I've, I've, I've forgotten something to do with this. But I did say to myself, or I said to, uh, I can't remember his name. Maybe nine images was an, uh, a bit much for, uh, I think it was low. But I just got, got excited with the, didn't matter what I was choosing, I was just finding tons of stuff. What images I was choosing. They were just full. And very, very low quality as well. You can see there's a weird stitch here. But this. Whoop. Now, if you're saying, oh, these images are terrible, ah, I've said it before, and I do apologize for repeating myself, but uh, we're early stages of this uh, channel, so I hope I'm talking to lots and lots of new people. Um, and these images are terrible you know this is what we have to deal with you have to let your eyes brain adjust to the the quality I'm sure he's not doing my eyesight any good Okay, let's have a quick look at the uh, the black and white one. This might make a little bit more sense to you. See this here. We look at it on. Oh, it, it is there. It just stands out. Things are are standing out. easier to view in this uh, it's not always the case but but like I say you just have to have a look at everything so you get the same image and just save it multiple times you know with different titles like I showed you um, uh, in cropping and saving the same it's just it's the same same error. So you can have a you have multiple um, copies of the same image and just do different stuff to them on different sizes. Because a lot of these low quality ones, I'm not actually blowing them up too big to work on. I'm trying to I'm getting most of the finding where the information is um, and then blowing it up at the last minute to um, Go back into the image and pick out detailing. So, looking at it, this area here is worse to view, worse quality, more blurred, shall we say, than this area at the back. And I think that's just uh, whoever's doing the, the editing on it, just perceive, perceiving that, you know, people are going to be not looking at the 
um, horizon line, skyline, however you'd like to say, and not paying as much attention to it. And you always look at the uh, these areas. I haven't on this, but definitely on asteroids because they're actually blocking out they're cutting out areas which may, you know, be sticking up and stuff. So they're worth looking at as well. You have to stick your nose into everything. Because that's where you find the, the, the stuff that hasn't been touched. Um, you know, it sets it off and gives you a picture in your in your head more of what you're trying to find or you know what's been hidden. The more I look at these images, uh, it's the extent of uh, these, shall we call them civilizations, is massive. They are everywhere. And uh, like I said before, I mean, it's uh, when I first started doing this, your mind's very, it's sort of muddled, it's very complicated. So the more I do it, the simpler it seems to be. I mean, of course, the question, you know, there's a million and one questions, but the simpler the um, the, uh, what would you say, the stuff is hidden so blatantly in front of your face that it's very, very simple. But it's only now I'm getting to the stage of realizing that. So I think that I think the main uh, they say it had a, like a hydrogen atmosphere. It's very icy um, here and stuff. So yeah. Clearly not. See this area? Yeah, I haven't noticed this. It all starts coming, coming together. Through here. See if we can get some more out of that. And these videos will be as long as they are. I'll try not to do like, you know, Hit the two hour mark. But the longer you can handle it, the easier you're going to uh, see this stuff.
Let's have a look back. Crazy how it all slowly starts joining up together. Okay, let's chuck, um, burn some mid tones over this. It's a bit slow because I bump the image up before uh, I started this. Go back to the highlights, just reduce it a bit. And the more you do it, this process, which, so I've used the highlights, um, and I've gone in with the mid-tones, there's it, different ways to do it, it just depends on the image really, depends what it's going to give you or not, in relation to which way around you have to use the tools, but generally it's light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. And that will individually work on those tones of the pixels each time. So basically it's squeezing them, compressing them, and that will eliminate blurring if that makes any sense to you. Is my secrets away? No. What we're looking at are the secrets, so it doesn't matter. This is everyone's business. Just following my eye. Sorry if I'm flying around. I know what it's like because I look back at the videos occasionally just to see if the... It's funny as well because when I look back at the videos, there's so much I'm seeing which I'm missing when I'm showing you this stuff. So that's why it's good to just pause it and have a good... Have a good stare. So we, we can see this coming through now. So you can only imagine that this is all attached to each other. Oop, that's a bit that's a bit blotchy. Go away. I have a moody copy of uh, Windows. Legitimately bought. So right. Before I get too carried away.
as you can see, you can spend a lot of time on this. All connected up here. I hope you can hear me. I'll slightly turn my uh, mic down a little bit. So I'm, I apologise if it's uh, a little bit quiet. I did do a test. It seemed all right, and the uh, the background. Okay, right, before I get too carried away, I just said that, didn't I? Right. So you can see the formations in the land um, within the structures forming. They're all around here as well. Big one running across here. See that? So it's another planet which looks like the surface is uh, more or less completely covered with um, some sort of uh, inhabited activity which I mean on uh, the scale of this stuff as well I mean uh, how long how long would it take to to build this stuff remember um, is it Europa I'm going to go back there because that's, uh, but like I say, I'm going to, I'm going to finish everything, um, that is possible to do. And I'm going to start going back to places and looking at individual images. And that was the 250,000 square kilometers of structures. There's nothing, nothing which even, well, probably half the size, I think it's New York, covers that landmass. Sometimes I just, I, you can't think about it, I just have to, I have to do it and it's craziness. that there this structure here and this and if we go down here where we were just looking So that looks like that, just relating stuff around. There's another one here. There's another one here. They're probably all over the place. I'm wondering if it's uh, if it's like a, a terminal, like a point of. Uh, station ok 
Okay. I hope you can see. Very busy. Okay, right, so what was I going to look at next? Uh, this one. Okay, um, pretty small, not too bad. Something I want to want to ask you as well. Um, so when you look at these maps, when I look at these maps, you know, you look at um, where the sun's coming from and, you know, how the how the shadows drop and stuff. And this one was completely, um, was looking different sort of, most of the time I was looking at it and then, then it was looking correct and stuff. Um, but just let me know how, how you see this, right, this here. Uh, this and these these craters do they look like domes to you or can you see the dish can you see the in the craters going in or do they look like they're sticking out of the ground it's quite crazy they're just things I look at when I look at the images so this, it would say that the sun is coming from this direction or this direction. But when you look at this piece here, <clears throat> if the sun's coming from this direction, which the craters are saying then the shadows are on this side and look how illuminated that looks maybe it's me shadow is this the high point or the low point it can be very deceiving let, let me know about this because uh, it's all part of this trying to work out how things are viewed it's uh, part of the research but I'm looking at this now and they look like domes and the sun looks like it's coming from this direction here Maybe it's not, but it, do, it doesn't look right to me. So it mean that this is the high point, and that's a shadow. High point. Do you see what I mean? It's weird. And other times I'll look at it, and um, I can clearly see the dishing in the... Um, in the craters and stuff so anyway just an observation let me know what you think so i've done some work on this one as well um so we'll have a quick look at this one how big is this this see look this is only 600 meg i'm not uh because i wanted to do it quickly i was um i had to just thought it was a good uh, good example of um, I just want to know if it's not going bog eyed or not but see this here it looks I don't know and this 
well. Okay, right. Um, just take a note of some of the, the dark spots, especially on the next one we're doing as well. Um, I don't know if it's there processing or not, but oh, there is an image I forgot to, I might have to pop up. I could leave it. But it's the, the inconsistencies in the, 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 if you have a photograph, then the makeup of the photograph, the after it's been digitized, whatever, um, sh there should be continuity running through it. Um, and like I've shown before, um, there isn't. So what do I mean? Like these. You see this. Now this could be their processing, but to me, uh, this should fade into darkness, not cut out. That's cut out. I was actually trying to do it. You can do it with uh, um, up here with these select tool, um, but I mucked it up. So you can select an area and then you can completely black it out or remove it, you know, take it somewhere else. I haven't really experimented with that too much. But you can see how these areas look a bit odd. And this really, this doesn't look like a crater to me. So, anomaly wise, <clears throat> you're probably thinking, well, there's nothing, there's nothing uh, jumping out at me. So to me, um, this area's all been worked and there's some pretty weird stuff going on. Um, let's see if I can bring this out a bit more. And there's quite a difference between on a lot of this stuff because you get so used to looking at it, it's when you're actually working on it and revealing the stuff to yourself where you start noticing and seeing odd things, the similarities between stuff, different maps and things. See, this is an odd area. But I haven't done a huge amount on this. It's just something I wanted to more more or less point out with the um, the craters and stuff. Let's have a look over here. I can't really remember what I was doing. But there was a lot. I was finding a lot in the shadows.
two little little stuff on this. Be looking at things like that. And they're the sort of things you want to be looking for in the dark. That's the sport, sort of thing that you would uh, want to be looking for. So it tells you there's something going on. And then you can start working on the rest of the images. It's a very slow image, this, to pull. But you can see here. Now it's starting to develop. If you're new to this, you are probably be going the guy's mental. What is he looking at? So just go and have a look at the uh, other videos and uh, <clears throat> you'll see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, we're not, I'm not going to ponder on this one. Um. <clears throat> these, all these black air, they all look cut out to me. Definitely stuff in this image. So for those of you who are starting to experiment with this, yeah, you have to search, you have to dig, 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 dig on a lot of images. And a lot you don't. I pretty much don't have a problem with any, any uh, image I, I uh, pick out. Just have a quick look there. See if this makes any sense to you. Remember to get in these dark areas. Like I say, they can give away so much. And this is the first part as well, so remember that. Very unusual. See, I just looked back and it just looked like a lump of coral or something. And then you look here. It's like, ah. Huh. Starting to develop. Right, I'm just going to have a... A uh, quick look in here now. Where is it? Is it that one? Yeah, okay. 
let's see if this this will open i just want to show you this is a um this area this this is all this area is all um completely black uh this is uh 19616 have a look at it we'll quickly have a look at it but when i started working on it this is what you, i can pull out of the blackness this is all completely black and you remember i was talking about uh, the the edges of things where um they've blacked an area out but they've actually neglected to work right the way up to the edge i think i did that on um mercury on the mickey mouse um head so and this is what i was finding in the blackness um Been completely cut out now they're not my brush marks but i was using i was being as uniform as i could with the um, dodge tool and you can see or can you see it's completely cut out And that are, is the pre-editing before we see it. And they are the, they're the brush marks that they are using from the tools that they are using. There's no, there's no way around it. That's, that's exactly what it is. And it looks like a blur tool or a smudge tool of some description. They probably have their their own software. I'll show you here. You can look. You can blatantly see where they've brushed out these areas, but that would be black. You wouldn't be able to see that. There you go that's that's the image as you get it okay mental look at this now to bring us on to the next image this is this started looking familiar to me you see it now when i was working on pluto i was talking about um absolutely blatant Okay, right, so we are going to have a look at this one. It's, uh, it's a small image, but um, quite interesting, really. Um, yeah, this uh, um, features a tall mountain on Ceres that is four miles, six kilometers higher, among the tallest features seen on Ceres to date. So I'm going to have to have a drink of water. Right. This is the image. And that is the 
I've seen documentaries uh, done about this as well. So yeah, four kilometers high. You see the pixelation coming in here, but uh, I don't know if this will remind you of when I was doing the Pluto. These images made up of strips. You can just about see it, and they're slightly offset. And then it had those weird geometric alternating shapes within it. If I just pull that quick, you can see. You can see, I don't know if that reminds you or not, but right, okay. This is the image I've been uh, working on and I've, yeah, I just enlarged it prior to this. Um, so all these lighter areas are the areas that I've worked on. And uh, well, let's, let's have a look at it. quite unusual the one two three four hexagonal is it? quite interesting so if you're used to this you'll be like now starting to understand what we're looking at but it's it's a new image again so you're going to have to get used to it again um did i is that the only one So I just want to explain this. So we got the strips again. Could be how it's stitched together, how, how it's been processed, but it's slightly offset. And within it, we were finding ge these geometric shapes. But as you can see, once I've started doing some work, I know this is a this is a pretty crap low end image um, lots of work still needs doing but I think I got it to a stage where you can understand it more what I started noticing was within the strips on the Pluto image we were looking at at those geometric shapes that those geometric shapes were starting to develop into um, structures which were joined to the next one in question and so on and so forth so that's why I went back to the Pluto and uh, it's insane so it gives you a little bit of an idea of what you might um, be expecting So okay, so to run around. So let's start start up here. So from the first image we looked at, remember the blue one. Um, I don't know if this is the. I don't think it's the same side, but it's equally as covered. Um, in. Uh, these uh, structures of sorts well they are just I hate I hate saying it so you can start seeing uh, infrastructure of sorts 
and we'll do we'll do some work on this as well so you can see see where I'm coming from as well but like on the other one these very industrial looking forms Same it same again within these within these uh, strips there are blurred areas. See how this is slowly appearing? This is hasn't been worked on. So let's just have a quick quick blast on that bit. Where are we at? So even from uh, from this distance viewpoint, and start pulling out the basic. Basic stuff. like getting an overview but it does get very busy and very confusing very quickly I am repeating myself but it's the I think if I was to write, you know, the instructions of doing this and stuff, I think it would just be a small pamphlet. It wouldn't be a... This is how simple I think it is. Now I could burn the um, the highlights now. Uh, in some cases, a lot of cases I do. It sort of smooths the image slightly. It's quite it's quite nice. And then you hit it with the burn the midtones. I'm going to go straight in with the midtones just so we're not here for another another week. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Burn. Pull that right up. This is uh, this image is two gig at the moment, and doing all the work that you can see here, I was working at it at one gig, which seemed to be fine. And obviously, you don't get quite so much lagging with the tool. You can see, but that's that's my computer as well. This can't, it's obviously doing a lot and it can't process it enough, it quickly enough. Okay, so you might want to take a view further out. Bigger, what are we on? Nine two seventy eight. Oh, way too much. See that's what you don't want to be doing. See? Here you can completely that does sort of look like you're drawing, doesn't it? So, and that would 
like mid tones anyway. So <laughs> he would have done the same on highlights. So I've turned that right down up a little bit. That's why you want this, the uh, settings. You want it on smooth stroke, um, and it's the weight's very light on the the pen as well. Just so you don't annihilate the uh, the image, and you want to see what's developing. I'll, I'll, the tool, I should keep it more to tutorials, I? I'm thinking out loud now. It'll all get there. So you can see the blurred areas next to the not quite so blurred areas. And we'll go and have a look at some stuff that no one's ever seen in a minute on this same image. So, it's everywhere. That's how you get the image. Let's remind ourselves. You can see these geometric shapes here. So what this image told me is those geometric shapes we were looking at on Pluto are um, structures. It's a particular design. They're um, I wouldn't call them pods but they're uh, If I can pull some out here. So if you remember I was talking about, so we had the stripes 
and I was talking about them maybe have, uh, laying a filter over the image which had geometric uh, patterns in it to try and cover up what was initially on the surface um, and the shapes were of the same nature so if they confused the amount of shapes and laid a filter over the top it would disguise what was actually on the surface that's what I was thinking but After going back to uh, have a look at that map on Pluto, it all made sense. And it's a definite style of design which you don't see. Um, I'd say in a majority of the other the other maps so let's quickly uh, I just want you guys to see this it's not a it's important for people to understand what they're looking at and me and I'm pretty excited about this one because I th um, To me, it's, uh, it's like uh, I've, I've broken one of the those uh, screens, masks, shall we say, and uh, yeah, yeah. So these are, you can see this is blurred, and that's not quite so blurred. But it's not as bad as it was a minute ago. So you can slowly see that these shapes, these geometric forms, which I thought was the filter laid over the top aren't they're all part of one another it's just everywhere Another blurred section. Just check this out. I'm going to do that from this level. Obviously, like I've said, you know, the closer in you get, you know, the smaller the brush is, the more the, you know, you can get right in there. It's not very specific when you work at this 
its level. You miss a lot. So what's that? This will all be part of something. Yeah, it's massive. There's something going on here.
So I was drifting off there. Going into the image. Let's see. We're going up. There it really cuts through this crater type thing. Up and over, see these things sticking out. It's a good perspective on that. This is a new new uh, style of uh, construction. Look, you can see well, that's all blurred out. Almost smudged that is. Oops, sorry. Hanging off the end of the desk, here. hold on. So it's crazy you get it everywhere. <clears throat> I'll show you this section in a minute. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've got to go to the toilet, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, cool. It's great what you can do with a, a pause button. Right. So I'm hoping you'll get in the picture now. Light areas are worked on, dark areas are, and like I say, this is so, this is like uh, the first, first pass. Um, it's also the daunting thing about these images is um, how long they actually take to really really get uh, as much as you possibly can out of the image and it, the, the first video I did uh, is probably what well, is the lot of the most amount of time I've, I've, I've spent on anything and uh, the, the proofs in the pudding it's it's believing what you look at as well I mean it just insane. But I'm quite excited because I think I've um, I've cracked some. It's especially for me. I know people want to see. You know, high high definition. Funky stuff. From the go mark. It's not entirely what. The aim of this is we have to understand what we're looking at and uh, that was a good uh, a good breakthrough for personally for myself 
so that's interesting that's almost uh, pyramid like ziggurat um, do they call them in South America I know the ziggurat is uh, That's Sumeria, um, Iraq, the Iraq or somewhere. I should look into those places. They're very interesting. Is it um, Abbaijan or somewhere like that? One of those places. And there's uh, more rockets and stuff. Um, set off and land in there than anywhere else. It's quite a uh, under the radar type sort of place. If you know anything about that sort of thing, yeah, just interesting. So I think that's better from about here. literally one of those images again where you can go anywhere and find find something I really don't look right okay this is interesting. So you can see the terrace elements here and also you know you have to take in take into uh, account the, the perspective the angle we're looking on the curve that it's actually on so the angle that we view it from then it's going to make things look more terrace like anyway but you can see where it sort of flattens out here and becomes straight lines more or less so let's start here work back see if we can get a bit more out of it necessarily be doing this I'll be working a lot closer but just to try and pull it out for you guys when you're hopefully tuning in at this um, zoom percentage what we are we're only at 25 percent Like I said before, I mean, if when you're blowing an image up, if it's if it starts pixelating around three to four, five hundred percent, does depend on the image. You've got you just you've got to experiment with it. Then you're pretty good. That's that would be a re, a, a good size for you. This is what I love about doing the dark areas. The secrets that they hold.
I was going to do a bit of drawing on and trying to map out the the shapes for you on this one. Like I said, I was going to do a bit of drawing to try and explain uh, for people who can't quite understand. I know there's not a lot of you watching at the moment, but hey, it might go, it might work. Um, so people are going to need that uh, that information how how to how to view stuff but we can see those familiar especially from uh, Ceres that we were looking at on the the uh, the skyline on the crest of the the uh, planet what is this though That would need more work, obviously, because it's blurred. You can see how this follows. Comes around. It looks as though we're going downhill here. Did see some bits. You can start seeing things appearing. So I'll just do this one bit and then. Uh, call this one a day and I'm going to do that Pluto update so I don't it won't I don't think it will take that long I think I'm right in saying when you know when people talk about anomalies or anomaly, it's a isn't it a I don't know you'll have to tell me um, a bit more of a sort of a standalone thing you know something which stands out on its own. You know, like a singular, you know, like the the monoliths and stuff they found and and things. Um, I know that this is all hidden stuff. Would you call it anomalies or? I don't know thinking aloud again but hey so if we pan out a bit it's difficult to make out this at this early stage but there's definitely a structure going on here
There you go. That's what I do you sweet. Just move around and you can sort of see the stuff initially. everywhere lot to say. So you could pretty much bet that this whole photograph is covered in Structures, buildings, I don't know, machinery, but... Oh, and by the way, original image, four kilometer high peak, did they call it? Mountain, mountain, tall mountain. Is there, next to that, so let's, here it is. So it's next to a next to a hexagon crater. So this will give you an idea of scale if their scaling is correct. This was it. It doesn't look like a mountain anymore, but this is four kilometers high, apparently. Four kilometers. You tell me. Remember about the geometric shapes and stuff. I'm going to go to Pluto and see if I can get that finished today. Because it's it's shockingly mental. And it gets crazier guys, I've just got mad stuff coming up, I've been looking through some files, I've been downloading some new stuff, um, nuts, so remember, 4 kilometers high, that was the mountain, it's not a mountain, I've seen documentaries done about this, you know, Nuts. Look at it. It's that area we started with.
if you are watching this for the first time and you think it's a clock off thanks for watching anyway but you can do this yourself this isn't a, a video where it just ends you know that's it you've got the information you know how to download it there's a link on the um, on the channel homepage I think you can go download GIMP it's all there for you and I guarantee you um, you can find the same stuff that's how simple it is so thanks for your time as usual um, it's a uh, we're getting to we're getting some good stuff done now um, um, I hope you understand I'm going to put the the Pluto update out um, and uh, yeah we'll take it from there so thanks guys and I will see you as soon as possible Thanks very much.